Moz says this is the largest sewage spill they've had to deal with in the last five to six years. Take a look hours after the spill was stopped. You can see the major environmental impact left behind dirty brown water in local waterways and in some places dead fish. This normally picturesque Tillman's Corner waterway is offering a different sight and a foul smell tonight after a massive sewage spill. This new video from Mobile Baykeeper shows the raw sewage spewing out into a local waterway yesterday before Moz could shut it down. It smells like a toilet bowl. I mean, it's, that's the only way to describe it, raw sewage. Lamar Oglesby lives on the water just downstream from the spill. Dead fish and brown murky water are visible from his dock. This is where we live at. Nobody likes walking in their backyard and smelling sewer. Neighbors throughout the Cypress Shore subdivision are facing the same reality. It's kind of nasty and um, it just doesn't look like what we know our waters look like. Around 552,000 gallons spilled into a local waterway that leads into Halls Mill Creek. Moz says it's the largest overflow in their system in about five years. The best information leads us to believe that there's a break on the pipe. We did find a large size cave in. Um, beyond that, we're not really sure. The pipe is about 20 feet deep. While Moz was first notified about a possible spill on Sunday, they weren't able to immediately find a problem. As Moz continued to search, Mobile Baykeeper says they joined the effort and ended up finding the spill Monday night. Kate Kissler from Mobile Baykeeper says while the overflow is large, it's not an everyday occurrence. It is sad and it is concerning to see it, but I'm, I'm happy to see that these big spills are becoming less and less frequent and we hope to see you know see them become extinct with the spill over Moz is now working to reach the broken pipe to repair it Phyllis Wingard is hopeful a spill like this doesn't happen again I believe strongly in, in protecting the environment we have I have wetlands on my property it's it's really kind of scary it's a big spill Moz is asking people to avoid swimming or fishing in the area for the next few days. I'm told crews will be out working to repair the line all night and take a look at this. Moz has put out about 30 of these signs throughout the area to warn people about the sanitary sewer overflow. We're live in Tillman's Corner tonight. Tyler Finger, Fox 10 News.